Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at how to repair meshes as they're imported in SketchUp. So some of this is pretty general information. I mean, it's it's repairing any mesh. A mesh, by the way, is a series of interconnected faces, oftentimes, you know, forming like some sort of smooth or undulating surface that kind of thing. A lot of times this comes into play when you import meshes, STL files, OBJ files, uh, DAE files, maybe anything that has geometry that gets imported in a SketchUp. A lot of times they can come in with holes in their surfaces. And this is a couple of thoughts to think about when repairing those holes. Let's hop in. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to import uh, a STL file. So I'm gonna go to file, I'm gonna say import, and I'm going to grab uh, this Rhino head STL file that I have. Import that. And there we go. You see, this is normal when you import a file. Um, every triangle that makes up this file this is an STL file, so everything's triangulated. But you can see every triangle is uh, visible. I can see every single one. Um, this is normal. So one of the things you can do is you can soften because uh, it can be kind of hard to tell. I know because I prepared this file that there is, I believe like three holes in this mesh, but it's pretty hard to pick them out right now. One of the things I want to do is I do want to talk about this just using straight SketchUp, right? We're not even going to talk about what you could do with extensions. There are extensions out there like Skimp or Transmuter that'll help with importing files. And there's of course Solid Inspector that will jump through something like this and see where the holes are, that kind of thing. Uh, for this, let's just let's just talk about using native tools. This is level up SketchUp, not going beyond desktop. So let's uh, let's talk about this. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. I'm going to triple click. I entered the group. When you import a file, it does show up in a group. So I'm triple click, select all the geometry, and then I'm going to shoot right over here. Soften smooth edges. I'm just going to toggle it off and back on. And this doesn't actually fix anything. So all this does is it smooths the surfaces. So it makes it easier to find things like, look at that triangle, see a triangle right there? That is a hole in the mesh. If I toggle hidden geometry real quick, I can see the triangles that make it up. Healing this is pretty simple. It's as simple as just going draw a line right there. And then if I want to, I can come in here and smooth those and they disappear just like the others. So if I was to turn hidden geometry back off, there we go. So that hole is gone. With this, you can start to look around and see some of the issues uh, and then, you know, heal them back up. In general, what I would tell people looking for holes in their mesh is look for places where the mesh gets dense. So if I go back into hidden geometry, um, if I look at this, see where this, where in his mouth, see a bunch of smaller, smaller spots right there. That's where I can see, okay, I have some more holes that I could could clean up. Um, but yeah, finding those holes, the easiest way to do it is to turn hidden geometry off and then spin around and look for spots. There's some spots where based on the geometry, I'll get, I'll get lines like this right here. This isn't a hole in the mesh. This is just some lines that didn't get smooth based on uh, the settings that I had when I turned soft and smooth on. So that's not necessarily a problem. In fact, I might even be able to go in and just smooth those lines right out right here if I wanted to. Um, not necessarily something I have to do. It looks prettier, but if this is being exported to like a 3D printer or something like that, it wouldn't matter if these are smooth or not. Just something I might do for my own beautification, making it look nice. Um, yeah, so that's an option. But yeah, it's pretty easy to, to get that cleaned up. Um, I do have some other holes in here, right down here. I can see I have some, a non triangular hole. My other holes were all triangular. So drawing one line across the edge of a triangle closes it up. If I turn, I found this, turn my hidden geometry back on. If I have something like, whoa, 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 whoa. Got a little crazy there. A little crazy. All right, there we go. So if I have something like this, it's non triangular. See this, this hole is one, two three, four edges, the way to close that up is going to be just draw a line right across like that because that creates two triangles. So depending on the geometry, there's a chance I might be able to draw a line on one side will close it up. But if it's something like this, that line's probably needed there to create the, that triangle to close that geometry up. Uh, I have one more up here. 
And again, at this point, I'm just I'm just navigating to what I already know is here. But you would go about this by looking around, or again, using Solid Inspector. Um, so this is a bunch of pieces, and this is this can be hard to clean up if I have my geometry hidden like this, because it can be kind of hard, depending on my view, telling where the breaks are. I definitely prefer hidden geometry like this because I can then I can just come in here and I can knit together my my pieces like that and then if I want to again smooth it I can come back in like this the reason I would go in and smooth it would be because if I was going through to check everything to make sure it was good I'll probably turn my hidden geometry back off and now I'm just looking for any place again that I have lines showing up on my mesh so this, of course, begs the question, well, is there a better way to import geometry up here? Oh, no, those are all just, again, little lines I can smooth. Um, is there a way to make geometry come in better? Answer, yes, there is. All right, so I'm just going to head and start a new file real quick. And I'm going to import as is the way to teach. I'm gonna show you how not to do it first so I can show you how to do it right later. So I'm gonna to go to import and I have this Rhino head small and I'm just gonna go ahead and import it. That's gonna come in and you see it's this teeny tiny little, little thing, maybe it's a piece of jewelry or something like that. But when I bring this in, um, I can see, whoops, I can see right here, this has got a bunch of tiny holes. So this is running into, you know, tiny surface issue where SketchUp, while it can maintain, it can have models with very small pieces, it can't always create small holes or small small faces. So these little faces are probably, I mean, this is probably a fraction of a millimeter. I have my, my length set to inch and you can tell it's, since it's approximately equal to zero inches. If I come all the way over here, we're only looking at a sixteenth of an inch. So these are teeny, teeny, tiny surfaces and it's not importing into SketchUp when I do that. So those surfaces are too small for SketchUp to draw on import. But fortunately, there is a simple, simple solution to this. If I go back to file, import, I import that same exact same file, Rhino head small. I'm gonna come here to configure and I'm gonna switch my units from millimeters to meters. So that says in this file, this, this is maybe a couple millimeters long. It's going to import and make it a couple meters long instead. So when I hit OK and import it, same exact geometry, just 100 times bigger. And when I do that, I'll zoom in on the exact same spot. You can see all the spot where I had empty holes before. Look at that. Perfectly good, smooth geometry. No problems there. So doing this, importing as meters, will give you this much bigger file or much bigger surfaces. And then all I have to do is once once that's in, I can grab this and I could scale it down to point, was it zero one? And then I can scoot that. Let's bring that right. Let's bring that right over here. And then that geometry then, I didn't go quite small enough. So scale down 0.1, that should be the same. There we go. Now it's exactly the same size as the other one I import as millimeters. But if I come in here, and look at it, of course, this one over here has holes in the ears. This one doesn't just because I import as a larger unit. So SketchUp could draw those surfaces, then rescaling exact same geometry. Holes, yes, holes, no. So sometimes it's just that simple. So I hope that helped you. If you're doing a lot of 3D printing or working with other other file file types, that kind of thing, anything where you're importing geometry on a regular basis, you probably are going to run into this sooner or later if you haven't already. Um, like I said, cleaning it up is really just a matter of finding those holes. Find the holes, draw a couple lines to clean it up. If you have big, big holes, big chunks missing, uh, that's where you may want to look into. Maybe it's an issue with the file you're importing. Uh, if you have a bunch of small pieces missing, then you might try importing in a different unit to see if that helps close that up. It, there is a, a, a garbage in, garbage out is a term my dad used to use, uh, which means you bring in files with missing information, SketchUp's going to bring that missing information in. So it is always a possibility that if you have a file that you're not familiar with, you import and it's missing faces, 
at those faces may just be missing in the file. And in that case, you just probably have to recreate them or maybe get a different file. But uh, those are some thoughts on those fixing those meshes. I hope that helped. Uh, if you like that video, click like, like down below. And if you haven't already, uh, please do subscribe. We create several videos a week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, they'll leave us a comment down below. If you run into issues like this, do you have a secret that you like to use to repair meshes? Or is there another idea you think would make a good video? Let us know in the comments below. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.